Well, hello, good people. Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. I hope everybody's having a great day. I'm having a shit fest day here. I'm pissed off like a mother humper because of this guy right here. This guy is making me lose my shit right now because he this morning literally did not like being questioned, being questioned about the Dallas Cowboys and of course uh, uh, about the moves or lack thereof because we don't do shit. We don't do shit. And this just came across literally just two minutes ago. After Devontae Adams went for a conditional third round pick to the Jets, to the Jets, a team that recognizes we need to collect more talent, something that Jerry Jones and Stephen Jones don't seem to understand at all. I literally posted a video um, about an hour ago about how Jerry Jones needs to do something to appease the masses. That's me. That's you. That's all of us Cowboy fans. He literally went on board this morning trying, trying to basically say, you know, you can't just go out there and get players and things right now, you know, uh, and this, that, and the other. And here we go. Amari Cooper has just been traded from the Cleveland Doodoo Browns to Josh Allen and the Buffalo Bills. And you know what? I'm going to be sick as shit if it's like a fourth round or a fifth round pick. I'm going to be sick as shit. I ain't going to lie to you. I, I, the, the, oh, God. Fuck. Fuck, 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 fuck. Fuck. Fuck this team. God damn. We, oh, Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ. You know, it, 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 it's just mind-blowing because, see, all I hear is, well, Dak Prescott's not good enough to overcome. Dak Prescott can't elevate players, this, that, and the other. And here we have, everybody says that Josh Allen's the you know, second-best quarterback out there behind Pat Mahomes. Here we have Aaron Rodgers, of course, multiple-time MVP. Neither of those guys have gotten a Super Bowl. Well, Josh Allen's never got one. You know, what, what was it, 2010 when Aaron Rodgers got one 14 years ago? That they're great evidently they're not able to elevate the teams to win super bowls without getting talent and those teams recognize they recognize that they have to get players that you can't go ahead and just say hey let's go ahead and try denzel mims who was a second round pick let's bring that guy in he's been a bust he ain't played football in two years let's look at bringing somebody like that in and signing them Let's do that because, you know, we don't need to have primo talent. We don't have need to have. No, no, no. Jerry Jones, you know, don't question me. I'll fire you and get somebody else to ask questions. No, we all need to ask questions here because literally Amari Cooper put on this team before when we were three and five and flailing made the difference of us turning around and going 10 and six and winning the division. And it's Jerry freaking Jones and Steven, a.k.a. Catboy. We got, you know, we got renewals higher than we've ever had before. You know, oh, you're you're satisfied with that. You're just satisfied with getting the money. You don't care about actually winning. Think about what would happen if you actually won a Super Bowl. Man, this. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Other teams are trying to do everything possible to win. And I ask you, I ask you guys, I ask you guys, what is this? What move can you point to with the Dallas Cowboys? And I know everybody is, is sending me messages. Who's sending me a message now? You're in this. Uh, look, look, here we go. Look, I'm getting trolled by Philly 500. You're in this. Hey, Nick Sirianni, just pull off the greatest distraction. Okay. You know what? 
troll me. Please troll me. Please tell me I'm an idiot for believing in this team. Please, 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 please. Because I, 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 I'm stupid. I am the dumbest person in the world to try. And, 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 and you know what? You, you, you got to blame. You got to blame guys like us. You got to blame guys like us because, you know, when we bring in a Carl Loss, oh, man, Carl Loss, that guy looks so good. Oh, oh, oh or, or, or in training camp, in training camp. Oh, my God, Dennis Houston, man. Did you see that one-handed catch in the corner of the end zone? We got you thinking that they are freaking Odell Beckham Jr. when he was actually good. And we don't do shit. We don't do shit. If you're the Buffalo Bills, you say, hey, we got a great quarterback. We got a good defense of things. You know, we ended up getting rid of Diggs and stuff like that because, you know, that was a distraction. But let's do something to replace them. We get rid of people. We get rid of people and we don't replace them. We got rid of Amari Cooper. And what did we do to replace that guy? What did we do? What did we do? Well, we just say, hey, well, we got CeeDee Lamb. That's good enough. Oh, look, man, we got CeeDee Lamb. And, and literally, I get trolled because, see, people come out here and say, are you kidding me? Dak got all kinds of what? He got CeeDee Lamb and, and he got Z Zeke Elliott. We got the worst running a game in football. Worst in football. We are one trick pony that's CeeDee Lamb that's getting bracketed, covered, double teamed. And shut down. We can't use play action because we can't run the freaking ball. Quarterback ain't got no time because the offensive line can't freaking block. Our defense literally can't stop anybody. The two jobs, Jerry Jones, Jerry Jones, you had two jobs this offseason. Two freaking jobs. Running the football and stopping the run. And you can look at this and say, we went from 14th last year running the football to 32nd. I don't know where the, the, the running game is at the moment in comparison, but I got to believe that we have to be one of the worst. The Cowboys don't give a flying fuck about you. They don't. They don't. They love the high drama. And you know what? This is the kind of, and, and, and th th this even pisses me off even more here because, you know, here, here's what, what really pisses me off about this team right now. And I'm sure I will get over it and I'll be back to screaming weed and boys and everything else like a dumbass that I am. And I am a dumbass is listening to freaking Micah Parsons. Now, 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 look at this. Look at th Robert He's talking about the game guys, that we just got Molly walked on. So big. Look at this. That, that absolute peak of pettiness has hit the NFL, bro. Like, the first play of the game, they made Dan Skipper ineligible. Because remember the two-point play last year? They was like, he didn't rule himself yeah. ineligible or whatever. So, they had him rule eligible in the first play of the game, right before half. And I don't think they did it. And in the end of the game. Game, yeah. Yeah, and then they had they, all these type King of trick plays. Bro. I, you know, and then obviously... I'm seeing, like, all this amnesty between the receivers and DBs. I mean, yeah, we got a lot of injuries. And you know it's like when you got injuries and stuff like yeah. that. And there's no excuses for, you know, how that game played out. But just know we, we will definitely be looking forward to, you know, a rematch, a revenge game ourselves, you know. Because, um, you know, that was uh, that was type crazy for real. Like, how, how can you smile? <laughs> I didn't know they did what, that. What the hell is like this? That. That's, that's crazy. Bro. Absolute people playing this. They try to run the same two point play to have Taylor Decker score again. Oh yeah, they yeah yeah yeah. Keep yeah. it. I love it. That was I like it. no. That was, I I was like oh I see what they on and like mind you like I'm just I, and it, it sucks because I'm like man I came and help my guys I came in you know defend this stuff like but you know I know you was, I know you was hot I know you was hot you couldn't go out there. Boy, I tell you that that you market a, a Detroit game, bro. Like, cause you know they going like, I don't care if it's a zero and sixteen Detroit, uh, four and twelve. They play hard, they play hard bro. Like you, you know hard. you got to come with it every time. What, 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 what are we doing, man? What are we doing? What, what are we doing? I, I'm trying to say. <sighs> Browns receive. A 2025 
third round conditional pick and a 2026 seventh round picks. The Bills receive Amari Cooper and a sixth round pick. And this is this guy who actually just traded him straight up for a fifth round pick. Yeah. Jerry, fire yourself, man. Fire yourself because you suck. You suck. <sighs> Come to my mind, we had a great run of it. Uh, he's a great coach, and I'm uh, proud to have him as a friend and proud to have had the times that we had. We, we, uh, we just had a great experience. Question now? What? Do you think you can answer Barry's question now? I've never, I've never been able to know why. Uh, I fucked it up. That, not just that, but any 